The squat, low-slung machines in their patriotic red, white and blue livery have, in the short space of two years, been developed into a powerful force as tarmac rally cars. The car's handling on asphalt surfaces has proved to be its forte. And in June last year, Tony Pond shook the European rally world at the historic battleground of Ypres in Belgium. So here we have a 1978 TR7 uh, V8 done to in the inspiration of the original rally cars from 1978. T-Pond is the one that drove a car that was very similar to this. Um, he did, had the same type of fog lights in the front. Um, as you can see, it has the same covers that he would have had. And these are hand embroidered, they're not decals. They're also wired into the original factory uh, fog light switch. Uh, and it's a three-way switch. So you have the top that goes on and then the bottom goes on and it's uh, wired into the headlights as well. Um, they're sitting on a bumper that is a Euro bumper, not like the big diving platforms you get on the North American cars, but both the front and the rear bumper are the Euro bumper, so they're much smaller, much sleeker, and they suit the car much better. As we move down along the body, you can see the paint and the decals and, and the high-end uh, restoration that took place here. The wheels themselves are made by Image Wheels out of the UK. They're a three-piece wheel and they're custom made specifically just for this car. In the trunk area, I have what was the inspiration behind this, is the original model kit from that era showing the rally car, the 1978 TR7 V8 rally car, and a die cast model of the same thing. And then in the trunk, you'll see the battery is there in a battery case, as well as it's got a battery maintainer on it. It's very easy, it's all hooked up and wired, ready to go. You plug it in when the car is in winter storage. Um, it's just a matter of plugging it in and it maintains the battery. If we move into the interior, try to keep it mostly stock looking. Um, all the original switches, as mentioned, the fog lights still work. Fog light switch, the uh, original horn, um, tack, speedo, everything works as it should. The seats had took a, taken them apart and restuffed them because of the uh, foam starts to deteriorate after the years. Uh, this is the original 30,000 um, mile car, came from California. Uh, did replace the carpets, they're out of England. They are a, a, a high pile wool carpet and uh, as you can see there's no wear marks or anything on them so um, tried to keep it mostly stock uh, there is a fuel shutoff switch underneath the the glove box and as well the old ac switch is now the uh, fuel pump switch you can turn the fuel pump off simply by pushing it in but what really makes this car perform is under the hood which is its more powertrain the motor 3.5 liter V8, as everyone knows, it was based on the Buick. Um, this one's bore 20 over. It's got a higher lift cam in it. It's got a really nice sound. It dynoed out at 260 horse. So in a car of this size with 260 horse and a five speed, uh, makes for some pretty spirited driving. Well, with that being said, it's time to go for a ride. <laughs> 